things up here a little bit. I just, uh, you know, I want to do this for some people who like my wood working aspect. You know, we mill a lot of lumber and I just picked this up recently because we're working at our camp up in northern Quebec and we need to do some paneling inside. But I find with pine, a lot of pine, when you do the whole inside of the building, it just turns everything yellow and I don't dig the look. So we decided to whitewash our pine. And it's very easy to do. I'm going to show you how we did it. First time we've ever done this and it's actually very simple. So all we do is we use a uh, latex base paint. It's interior, it's not a big deal. And the ratio is one to two. So two parts paint, one part water. Just give it a good stir and then quite simple. You just brush it on. Don't go, you don't have to go too thick. And you know, we found, because we've done a few little experimental pieces, that if you put the paint on thicker, um, you can get, you know, a, a whiter shade of whitewash. Or if you water down even more, it'll of course be less. But you wanna find that fine balance, whatever it is that you're into, that look that you're going for. You know, if you really wanted to have it whiter, you could probably put another coat on it. That's probably another way to do it, but I don't know. I don't think it needs to be done. Um, if you want to leave more paint on the wood as well, you could use a rag with different kind of fibrous consistency. It would leave more paint on there. If you wanted to uh, use a different type of rag, this is kind of like, a, I don't know, what they call that, like a t-shirt or a jersey knit or whatever that is. There's not very much texture to it, so it doesn't uh, leave any white marks on it. I just go over this really quickly. Just give her a quick wipe of room. One of those, but it leaves streaks in it. You might like that look. But if you just bring it down a little bit more with the rag, then I do one continuous wipe. Takes that yellow appearance away. I know we've done this in our camps before, you know, you, the pine is all through the thing, you turn the light on and everything is just yellow and it makes everybody go to sleep. So this is a little bit brighter um, and as you can see, you know, we've done a whole bunch here and it's very consistent. So that's a do-it-yourself whitewash. This pine we picked up at a local uh, shop that deals with lumber and they plane all this, all this tongue and groove. It was 58 cents Canadian, a linear foot, and they're five inches wide, three quarter inches thick. Um, if we were to buy this all pre-finished with basically the same finish, you're looking at about a buck seventy, two dollars a linear foot. So we're saving quite a bit of money and we're doing about 1900 linear feet and one gallon of paint is gonna do it. Thanks for watching. Don't mind my outfit. You want to kind of get your worst clothes when you're doing this kind of thing. Okay, it's more done.